hi guys welcome back to my channel in my tutorial in this particular video I'm going to teach you how to find out a minimum or a maximum number or a date based on a criteria I have a sample data set here with PO number order date and approved date there are multiple PO numbers here let me just filter it out on one PO for example I have order date and approved date so um, the earliest date for me is 25th of August in this particular case and the maximum approved date or the latest or the latest approved date is uh, 26th of uh, uh, September. So let's say if I want to find out the what is the uh, when was the first time this PO was ordered and when was this last approved. So what I will do is I have the unique PO numbers here and I want to find out the minimum order date okay and then I want to find out the maximum approved date let's write a formula here I'm going to explain how we need to do this I'm going to type in is equals to I will start with if okay and I'm going to select my entire range over here and I'm going to say I'm going to select actually not the entire range I'm just going to select these cells here I'm going to press F4 and log these cells and I'm, do, I'm going to say is equals to this PO number so basically what I'm saying is I, I need to find uh, from this range I need to find this particular PO number okay and then I, I need to return the order date which is the minimum order date I'm just going to select these order dates I'm going to press F4 and log this range I'm going to close the bracket and press on enter okay so we've got some value over here let me change the format to uh, a date format okay so I have this okay now this is definitely not the minimum or the minimum order date for this particular example I need to add another formula to this so all I'm going to type is M I N open bracket and then I'm going to close the bracket and I'm going to press control shift and enter that will basically change into the um, array okay and then I'm going to drag this formula all the way down here okay so for the first PO over here it's throwing me as 29th of August let's quickly go back and check if that is right I'm going to select this PO so as you can see here 29th of August is the minimum uh, date over here now likewise if I have to check for this I'm going to just say go here select this PO and um, the latest date is uh, uh, 15th of August so is that the case yes it is 15th of August okay now what you can do is in in, in, term, in uh, you know uh, to identify the max approved date I'm going to copy this exact formula okay I'm going to paste it over here I'll change the formatting okay and uh, I need to return the column C so I'm just going to change the range over here to column C and uh, uh, instead of min I'm going to type in max and I'm going to press control shift and enter okay and then I'm going to just drag this formula okay let's check for this particular PO which is the max date is 10th of September is what this formula is telling me and I'm going to select this and if you actually go here 10th of September is the maximum date which um, this particular PO has been approved so I hope this was the easiest way that I have explained this formula to you and I hope you will use this in terms of identifying the minimum or a maximum date based on a criteria. Please leave a like and please comment down below if, you've, if, you ha if this video has helped you. Also subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.